Now, in the previous technical demonstration, we focused on secure remote login, but I also mentioned that in order to perform the same type of login with multi-factor authentication, that's not possible unless they use the portal. So how does a user, an administrator, for example, be able to, how are they able to log in using a managed password directly at the console or through a separate client-based RDP session? Well, this requires the password checkout process, which we saw a little bit earlier. Uh, the difference here is that we still need them to use the portal to gain access to that password, which means we need to be able to apply specific security measures. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to apply multi-factor authentication to the password checkout process. So if I go to accounts currently, we saw this earlier, and I want to check out the Omicron-A password, I can simply select checkout and it'll show it to me. But I really don't want to do that. I want to be able to continue to verify who I am before this information is ever revealed. So let's go ahead and apply that particular security measure. Let's go ahead and we'll check the password back in. And let's go to the properties of the account. And let's start with the app server. And this applies to both types of accounts, Unix and Windows based. There isn't any difference between the two when we apply the multi-factor authentication to it. So from here, let's go over to policy. And once again, I'm going to change the default pass password checkout profile to Omicron MFA. And we'll click save. Let's go ahead and go back one. Well, let's go ahead and go back to the payroll system. Under policy, you'll notice that nothing has really changed here. It's the same type of option. And we'll click save there as well. So now that I have these two in place, if I want to check out the password in a break glass situation, for example, I can log into the portal. I can proceed to check out. And I have my option here. If I click show password, it's going to once again prompt me for multi-factor authentication. And now by doing that, I've secured that password even more stringently by providing that type of further verification. Go ahead and press close. And now I can go ahead and check in the password. Let's do the same thing for the payroll system. Again, once before I can copy or show it, I'll need to supply my verification, uh, my information verification. Now, at this point, I can go ahead and copy this to the clipboard so that I can use it at the console level or through an RDP session. Just keep in mind that if we have password rotation built in, we can go through that process of rotating that password on check-in. We can also have it set to just simply periodically check that password back in and rotate it so that it's different every 30, 60, or 90 days, for example. But again, this adds another layer of security to shared account password management. Thank you.